Okay, in this video I'm going to do example, an example using the trapezoidal rule. Um, and all this does is <clears throat> you're approximating the area underneath a curve using trapezoids. Um, sometimes you'll use rectangles. Um, just another way to do it is to use trapezoids. Um, without doing a lot of justification, basically the formula is this. It says you can approximate an integral from A to B, um, some function. It says basically what you do, um, assuming we chop it up into n pieces, okay? It says we take delta x over 2, which is just the length of the interval, divided by the number of pieces. Um, and it, then it says we just take the function evaluated at the first point, plus 2 times the function evaluated at this next one. Um, notice the 2's all inside of here until the very last point. Notice that doesn't have a 2 on it. Um, again, where x sub i is given by this formula a plus i delta x. Obviously, this is probably not the place you want to start if um, you know you're just now looking at integration. Um, but if you've seen the video about uh, that I did about um, understanding the definite integral, um, I think this x sub i and this delta x notation should be familiar. So I'm going to make mine relatively straightforward, just to hopefully make the numbers work out a little bit better. So it says we want to approximate the integral from 1 to 5 of 1 plus x squared. And I'm going to use four trapezoids. If you were to graph 1 plus x squared, so I'm just going to draw a little picture here. 1 plus x squared would be um, a parabola, <coughs> shifted up one unit, from x equals 1 to x equals 5. And it says we're going to chop this up into n pieces. Okay, so delta x is going to have value b minus a, so that's the right point minus the left end point, divided by the number of rectangles, so we'll get 4 over 4, or 1. So that's the width of each one of our intervals. <clears throat> Again, we've chopped our interval from 1 to 5 up into 1, 2, 3, 4 pieces. Each one has width 1. So you can see that, okay, well, the values would be 2, 3, and 4 of our points. And it says now what we're going to do is we're going to use, again, trapezoids to just kind of cover this, this region and approximate the, the area um, of underneath the curve using these trapezoids. Okay, so my bad little picture there. Okay, so it says according to this formula here, so again, we know value delta x is 1 in this case. It says, our formula, it says we take delta x. Okay, so delta x over um, n. Excuse me, delta x over 2. Um, and then we multiply that again by f of x sub 0. We multiply the next ones by 2 until we get to um, the very last one, which only has a 1 attached to it as well. Okay, so if we fill all of this information in, <clears throat> it says the integral from 1 to 5 is going to be roughly equal to the value of delta x, which is 1. We divide that by 2. And then for my points, the first point is going to be our x sub 0. The last point generically, that's your x sub n. And this would be your x sub 1, x sub 2, x sub 3, x sub 4, or the last one. <clears throat> so it says we'll get, we have to take f of 1, but then it says we have to take 2 times the value of when we plug in our second point, 2, and then we'll get twice f of 3, <clears throat> excuse me. We'll also get 2 times f of 4, and then the very last value, f of 5, that doesn't have a 2 in front of it, so I ended up squeezing that in here a little bit. Let me, let me, um, copy it down here. So we'll get 2 times f of 4 plus the last point f of 5. Okay, so this is now just a bunch of tedious arithmetic more than anything. <clears throat> so let's calculate um, all of this out. So I'm going to get rid of my pretty picture here. You know, so any of these approximating rules, trapezoid, midpoint, left endpoint, right endpoint, it's just a formula you've got to remember, and then it's just really tedious, okay? So, again, the function I'm using here is 1 plus x squared. So my f of x is 1 plus x squared. So it says this integral is going to be roughly equal to 1 half 
Okay, when we plug 1 into our function, we'll get 1 plus 1 squared. 1 squared is 1, so we'll get 1 plus 1 or 2. Then it says we get twice the value when we plug in 2. Notice if we plug in 2, 2 squared is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5, so we've got to double that value. When we plug in 3, 3 squared is 9, plus 1 is 10. Again, we have to double that value f of 4, when we plug 4 in, 4 squared is 16 plus 1, or 17. And again, notice the last point, um, f of 5, that doesn't have a 2 in front of it. When we plug 5 in, 5 squared is 25 plus 1, so 26. And now we just have to add all of this stuff up. So again, um, this was our f of 1 value, f of 2, f of 3, f of 4, and our f of 5 value. Okay, so, all right, we're almost there. What do we get? Um, so this is 10 plus 20 plus 34 plus 26. 34 and 26 is 60 <clears throat> plus 20 is 80, 92. So it says we get one half of the value 92 which I do believe is the number 46. So it says the area underneath the curve 1 plus x squared from 1 to 5 using four approximating trapezoids would be roughly equal to the value 46. Okay, so again, <clears throat> it, this is just a matter of knowing a formula, you know, a tedious, I don't know, maybe a, a slightly tedious formula. Again, if the function is at all complicated or, you know, they make you use a lot of regions, they make you chop your inter interval up into lots of pieces. Um, clearly this computation is going to be very tedious. But again, the main thing to catch with the formula is the delta x over 2. And then just notice the 2's in front of all the stuff in the middle um, when you're evaluating the function. So, Alright, I hope this video helps. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to post comments and hopefully either me or somebody else can help you out.